Previously on IRM Amanda. Are you here to take me back on board? Travel time and space with Rory in class and... Who? We do however prove one request that the ship be granted mobility and given the highest quality deliveries. These deliveries will see you and the daughter ship Jitterbug traveling to all corners of the universe on all sorts of high-risk deliveries. Okay my slightly bizarre and dysfunctional crew. We somehow managed to win something. Well done us, I guess. Our status has been updated in the mainframe and our special deliveries are flooding in. I was kinda a banking on the lifetime supply of cheese but I guess this will do. The first package on special order is a box of rare, large, and expensive Karichi diamonds. Diamonds. We. Have. Diamonds. Okay don't freak out, class. Set the space nav to quadrant 097, the Pandaki cluster, Muriel. Download the exterior from the language archive, Shane. Martin, I want an unbreakable high security case for the diamonds. David, don't touch anything. Rory, look up the atmosphere requirements, and Arno, adjust the gas release on the spacesuits accordingly, and Gorilla, get me a Frappuccino. This is going to be steamy, but not literally, just in a metaphorical sense. Nobody gets too near the diamonds. Nobody. Hello, how are you? Really? That's good. It's been a long time. I... I missed you. We should spend more time together. Why don't you stay for tea? I have some. Found anything yet? The records are sparse. It seems like not many people have been there. But luckily the Arillo contingent did an advance scan a few years ago. I have their figures here. Good work, Rory. What does it say? I'm intrigued to know more about this mysterious planet. It looks like the atmosphere is similar to ours. 73% nitrogen, 18% oxygen. Great. Not much need for the oxygen tanks then. We'll send them with a handheld just in case. I'm curious. 73 add 18 equals 91%. What is the other 9%? Argon or a collaboration of multiple elements. Perhaps a new element we've not discovered yet. How marvelous would it be? Uh, have you found it? Excellent. What is it? Um, ravioli. Ha ha yes, that's very funny Rory, but really, Dirilo recommends visitors pack a spork. Well, there's a first for everything. Hey, I don't believe we've met. I'm Shane. It's nice to meet you. My name is Martin, and likewise, a pleasure. So have you ever built an instructable box before? Hum, let me see, let me see. I have built many a vending machine and repaired spacecraft regularly. I used to work at a service station you see, in the Scotland district. Quadrant 55586, a pleasant station with an Earth-inspired nature reserve. I remember it well. Blows the wind today, and the sun and the rain are flying. Blows the wind on the moors today and now. Where about the graves of the martyrs and the wops are crying? My heart remembers how. That was wonderful, Martin. And I understand if you're upset, I miss my home too. I guess everyone does in their own way. But it is fine. There are things my path away from home can teach me, I could ne'er learn before. Really? Like what? How to build an instructable box. Now repeat after me. Grit and Daubislot, Actanomi. I don't see the point in this. The point is that I practice my new exterior skills, and stop you from touching anything super expensive. 
and I think you will find it is a very valuable educational experience. I'm allergic to education. The times table brings me out in a rush. Come on now, David. Don't be ridiculous. Now did you know that in the Pendaki cluster the main source of fuel is butter? My thighs are on fire. This is all your fault. Let's take the ship down near the plane. What do you say? I say, that is a super idea, Captain. And just by sheer convenience, to us and to the plot, the spot you have chosen is the perfect size for our gargantuan spaceship. I agree, how convenient. Usually we have to alter the space-time continuum in order to fit our ship's lard but onto any feasible planet surface. Don't say that, Captain. Amanda has the most beautiful spaceship bottom of them all. Omni can't hear you. The eye is under repairs. Have you considered putting the ship on a diet? <whistles> Heading in for land now, Captain. Ready to deliver those precious, expensive, wonderful, extraordinary diamonds to their new perfect home. I'll miss them. It's been such an emotional ride. I feel like we've bonded. Not me and you, you're still weird, but me and the diamonds. I do hope they'll be okay in their new home. Don't worry, Captain. We can always come back to visit. It just won't be the same. Why does it have to be this way? Why? Okay, I'm over it. Land the ship. Cost base boom. Good evening, ma'am. I'm here from the Is That Ravioli. My Karichi Diamonds. Yes. From the Intergalactic Royal Mail Ship, Amanda 787. What a silly name for a fast food takeaway. Always a pleasure, Ma. Wait, what? Pity they're not seasoned. No worries. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Captain, are you okay? You're twitching. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times. No diamonds were entered into making of this episode. 